There is no shortage of free yet useful programs on Windows, but when it comes to Mac, most of the apps are paid. Hi there, this is Pranav once again and for past few months, I have been building a list of some of the free productivity apps for macOS. And finally, I have a solid list which I'm really excited to share with you guys. Like always, all the applications are free and you can find the download link in the description of this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Unlike Windows, macOS doesn't show you a calendar when you click on the clock icon in the menu bar. Yes, you can always bring up the calendar app from the spotlight, but it takes too much time. Enter itsycal. Wait, how do you say it? Well, it's a tiny calendar app that sits in your menu bar and displays your monthly calendar. It can also fetch the event from the Mac calendar app. And to jump between different months and years, all you have to do is use the arrow key. Overall, I was looking for a good calendar app for a long time. And now that I have found it, it's pretty cool. There is no shortage of clipboard manager app for Mac OS, but most of the good ones are paid. I personally use Uncluttered, which I cannot recommend enough. It has got a clipboard manager, a notepad, and a temporary storage for files. You should definitely check this out. But let's get back to the track. Copy is a new clipboard manager for Mac OS, and it is surprisingly good. Once installed, this application will silently run in the background and store all the history of whatever you copy and paste. To bring up this application, you have to press Command Shift plus V and Copia will pop up from the left side of the screen. Now I use the same shortcut on my Final Cut Pro, so I have replaced it with Command Option plus V. And the cool thing about Copia is, even though it's free, you get many advanced options like searching through the text and it also supports images as well. Overall, if you are looking for a good clipboard manager app which is also free, then definitely go with this one. Every once in a while when you want to check your hair or see if something is stuck in your teeth, then you scrunch for a mirror, right? Before discovering Pearl, I often use FaceTime to see how I am looking before I go to a meeting. But the issue with that is, the preview is so big that even the people sitting beside you might spot your narcissism. And that's where Pearl comes into picture. It's a tiny app that sits in the menu bar and when you click on it, it will show you a small preview of how you look. Just make sure you check the lights and the angles are good enough for a meeting and there you go. No product app list can be completed without a Pomodoro timer app. And for all those who are unfamiliar, Pomodoro technique is pretty simple. Simply set a timer for 20 minutes, work for that duration. Then take a short break and once done, reset the timer and work again. In Be Focused, you can customize the work time, set a different break times and even change the alarm sound. You can add up to 10 tasks in your to-do list. However, if you are a beginner, I would suggest you take it slow. The less you do Pomodoro, the effective it gets, at least in my personal experience. So here is a disturbing fact for you. Do you sit in your office chair for more than 6 hours a day? Then you just might have the risk of getting heart diseases 64 times more than the others. Congratulations. Well, so what you can do about it? I try to follow two systems. One, drink a lot of water, which will not only keep you hydrated, but will also make sure that you have to periodically get up to go and pee. And second, use 20-20-20 rule. That is, every 20 minutes, walk 20 feet away for 20 seconds. And guess what, this is where timeout comes in picture. By default, it freezes your computer after every 20 minutes by showing you an overlay. And it won't let you work for next 20 seconds, expecting you to walk and go to your coworker and start an awkward conversation for 20 seconds. Although if I'm in a highly productive move, then I prefer to set up interval of 25 minutes so that it can sync well with my Pomodoro timer. One thing that rings true for every work environment is that it's really easy to get distracted these days. One way to solve this problem is by using time tracking application. If you know where you are spending your time, then you will have a better idea how to manage it. Once you install usage, this application will run in the background. It requires no input from your side. And after waiting for few days or week, the application will give you a bird eye view of your work, about where are you spending most of your time and if you are being productive or not. Another way to fight distraction is by hiding or quitting the application that you are no longer using on your Mac. 
If you waste too much time checking your messages on Skype and Slack, then Twitter is what you need. Simply put, if you don't open an application for a certain amount of time, then Twitter will automatically hide it or quit it, depending on how you have set it. Overall, if you find yourself wasting too much time on certain application just because they are in front of your eyes, then this might help you out. Mac OS already have a way to capture screencast with quick time and to be honest it is pretty decent. However, if you do often take screenshots and record your screen then having a third party app is must. For a long time I was looking for a good screen recording app for my Mac and then I discovered Mono Snap and it's really amazing. Just like any other recorder you can record a part of your screen or a complete area and it also has a built in editor. But the best thing that I like about this is say if I found an image which I want to quickly edit. Then you can simply copy the image on your clipboard and go to mono snap and open it from the clipboard and then you can edit it right then and there pretty awesome right in a nutshell mono snap is the best screen recording and a screenshot app that you can find for free to open an app on mac os what we usually do is bring up the spotlight by pressing command plus space and then type in the first few letters of the app like ch for chrome but what if I tell you that there is an easy way to launch an application with just a simple keyboard shortcut. For instance, if I press space plus C, then it will open Chrome. Now why spacebar? Well, because it's bigger. So here is how it works. Say I want to open Slack when I press space plus S. So here is how to set it up. Open up the app, click on the plus sign and then select the trigger as the letter S. For this instance, you would like to go with open the URL and then choose the application and save it. Now if you press space plus s on your keyboard then it will launch the slack app. You can also set up child keys like space plus f and then d while you are holding the space button. It will open the download folder and if you do space plus f and then c then it will open the icloud directory on finder. Newer MacBook comes with plenty of RAM, so you won't see your Mac OS slowing down or the app crashing. But the older Macs can get real slow, especially when you're running apps like Final Cut Pro and Photoshop. And this is the problem Cleaner for Memory tries to solve. It is a small application that lives in your menu bar and shows you the memory stats when you click on it. But the cool thing here is, if your system is running bit sluggish, then you can click on the optimize button and it will free some of your RAM. But how does it work or where does it get the extra RAM? Well, your Mac likes to cache things in your free RAM so that you can load applications quickly. This might be useful in some situations. But if you need to free up lot of your memory for a particular app, let's say if you're running Final Cut Pro on old MacBook, then you can delete the cache file and get some extra RAM from there. So these were some of the free productivity app for Mac OS that I use every day. And I hope this works for you as well. If you're looking for some specific application, then let me know in the comment section below. And maybe I or somebody else might be able to help you out. So that's all for now. Give this video a big thumbs up if you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's been now signing off and I will see you in the next one. And yes, like always, thank you for watching.